Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to episode 4 in this incredible series. Last time we took a look at Vegeta, and despite the fact that Super Saiyan 3 Goku won the poll from last episode, I thought I'd go with the flow and have my favorite character star in this episode, hot on the tails of the success of his new movie. And that's Broly. And now I gotta say, I love the new movie as well as the new version of Broly, and if you haven't seen it, I'd definitely go check it out if I were you. The old Broly still holds a very sizable spot in my heart, though as nothing will ever beat seeing him go completely psycho and beat the crap out of everybody to disturb Anne Hodge's kitchen. And I feel like the soundtrack of the new Broly movie was the one thing that saved the new iteration of Broly from obliterating the old entirely for me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so it goes without saying, I'm using the 2018 con exclusive version of Broly here. I do have the original, but I'm using this one as it's easily my favorite to date. So I can almost guarantee that anyone who has Broly posed by himself will either have it in this pose right here or a power it up sort of pose. And not to say that there's anything wrong with that because of course neither would have made this lift if that was the case, but I hate it when people have him facing plain old straight ahead. Broly is one of the few figures in the line that really emphasizes that classic V-shaped bodybuilders love to show off on stage and that should hold true with Broly as well. Tell me you can't feel the difference between him standing like this as opposed to the same pose hit from a different angle like say this. It's two different levels guys. Anyway, despite this being on the bottom of my top 5, I feel like this is a pretty great pose when used with this smirk as it just reminds me of so many moments from the first Broly movie as well as his stands in games like FighterZ. All in all, it's as basic as you can get with just a dash of the character depending on which face you decide to go with, but hey, still works to convey a little bit of that bloodthirsty psychopath saying that Broly is. Okay, so at number 4, we took the simplicity from the last pose and elevated it a little bit by adding one, if not two or more of the key blast effect parts that Broly comes with, as well as adding to his character in terms of the smirk. Now depending on which hand you go with, be it the open or the more closed version, you end up with two different effects. With the first, it's much more casual and demonstrates some more arrogance on Broly's side, as well as sheer power just due to the size of the figure. On the flip side, if you swap the open hand out for this hand, it sets up for more of a pose akin to Broly's finisher from past Budokai games, the Omega Blaster. I only wish we had a better energy effect part to capture this gigantic attack, but hey, one of the key blasts still works for the starting phase of it anyway. Alright, so at number 3, I've got any sort of in-flight rushing dash kind of pose. We all know Broly, especially this version, is not full of finesse and acrobatics, but more so full of brute strength and power blows. As such, instead of a typical kick or punch in an acrobatic mid-air sort of move, a more powerful form of dash or charge works a lot better in Broly's favor. Now one big thing here is that it would work a lot better with another figure in front of him. And you guys will see that this episode brings with it an exception with the top couple of poses as well in terms of using what you've just given in the box with Broly. But nonetheless, if you're looking to change your Broly pose up for something with a bit more flair and have the space for it, go with this. It definitely showcases a lot of Broly's personality here, and remember, it's all about angles. Okay, so coming in at number 2, I've got Broly powering up, or maybe even specifically powering up like one of the original shots from movie 8, when he first transforms into the legendary Super Saiyan form, or you can go with the more ominous rising type power up, sort of like when he's about to pretty much unleash some excess energy or just raging the f*** out again. Now, as simple as these poses are, I have them near the top of the list because A, it's using only what's in Broly's box, and B, they both represent pretty iconic shots from Broly's older movies, as well as depict a good chunk of his personality. Psychotic saying capable of blowing everything into bits in an instant? Check. And as I said, it's a little bit tricky here because now you have to kind of use the articulation from the robes to get the full effect of this. I can't tell you how many times I've seen Broly power up poses where it just looks like he's yelling because somebody forgot to buy toilet paper again. As I said, it's tricky here because you can totally take these poses to another level using LEDs and effect parts, but again, I'm trying to keep those out of it. Having said that, you gotta have this guy elevated for this pose to really elevate. 
So I know I'm the biggest hypocrite on YouTube right now, but honestly guys, Broly is just meant to be posed with or around other figures. I can't stress that enough. His design is very simplistic in nature, and so are his personality and motives in a sense. We know we're getting the new version of Broly this year, but with this version, it deserves to be iconized in a pose that gave Broly the fan following he originally had, and that is a pose where he's simply just wrecking sh This is where the figure really shines. There's so many different moments from movie 8 alone that can look great in display. Be it with Goku, Vegeta, or like pretty much most of the Z Fighters if you can commit to that whole shelf space or a large amount of space be it off of the shelf Broly deserves that amount of savagery to display and you will not be sorry if you can pull that off what's more is that unlike being by himself now you can totally get away with taking advantage of more articulation in the form of let's say a knee to the stomach a double clothesline energy blast for everybody the possibilities are endless Alright guys, so there's my take on the top 5 ways to pose this version of Broly. Like I said earlier, we need a couple effect parts to really take most of his poses to the next level, but for now, surrounding him with foes is your best bet. You can be sure that my top 5 poses for the super version of Broly will be different, so stay tuned for that this year. But anyways, how do you guys have Broly pose? Will you be one of the lucky individuals who is fortunate enough to have both Broly's later this year? Let me know down below. And I think for episode 5, I'm going to be covering a dude who's arguably a little bit colder than Broly. As far as his name suggests, anyways. Until next time, guys, you know what I always say. May the best you today's be the worst of your tomorrows. Peace.